And I'm Dylan Black. Welcome back. Our good friends now from Vintage Stock Theatre join us to talk about an upcoming production that is called Outrage, The McGonagall Murders. Ooh, right now we have a director with this uh, amazing show, Troy Arsinian. Hello, Troy. Hi. Wonderful to have you here. And Brooke Trailout is with us. You're an actress, Julia McGonagall. Are you, are you killing people on this? I am not <laughs> killing people. No? My daughters are killed. Oh. Well, I'm sorry. Okay, that's not a good way to start this. Oh, sentence. it's okay. <laughs> Julia kind of had grim. children to spare. Yeah, <laughs> I think she had eleven in total. She has eleven so children. Kind of, a, kind of theme this. Uh, <laughs> they could see. I mean, <laughs> you guys always have fun when you're doing vintage stock theater. Yeah. So yes, it sounds pretty serious stuff. But this is this is going to be a fun play, Troy. Um, it's been a fun process. Yeah. Um, it's not a very comedic play. No? It's very serious. It's pretty dark. Um, it's based off of real events. Okay. Um, that happened in Cumberland in 1890. Wow. Uh, these two little girls, 12 and 13 years old, were raped and murdered. Um, and the play is about their story and about the trial of the accused murderer, Narcissus Larocque. But this is a bit of a departure for vintage stuff, because normally isn't your stuff pretty light and, and happy and, and fun? And um, usually, we, we put on three shows a year. Yeah. Um, the first show is our murder mystery, and that one's usually more light and fun. And then our Shades of the Evening is usually a little bit darker. Okay. Um, we perform it at night, and it's lit by lanterns. And it's yes. all done at the museum, so we're walking from building to yes. building. And I participated in that one about three years ago. You did one. Though. Yeah. Uh, which was a lot of fun. Uh, Brooke, but you, so you've been acting for quite some time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, since I was eight years old. Wow. And uh, so, but you haven't been acting in Ottawa all that time. No, um, I've only lived here for about two years and I wasn't really involved in the theater community much until I got involved with the uh, vintage stock. Actually, I was going to audition for one of um, Troy's plays in the summer and I and I couldn't go to the audition and then just fate brought us back yeah. together. Oh, that's good. Yeah. It's funny how that works sometimes. But Troy, you've been with Vintage Stock for quite some time. Yes, I've been acting with them since 2012 when I did their murder mystery. Yeah. Um, and I've, this is my first time directing with them. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's an exciting new adventure for me. So why did you all of a sudden decide to become a director? Um, well, I'm a student in the theater department at Ottawa U and I've been taking directing classes and I've recently opened my own theater company where I've started directing my own shows. Mm -hmm. And so I've kind of branched off into the more artistic um, production side of theater. Okay, and is it a challenge uh, to direct com compared to? Uh... <laughs> uh, it's definitely different. Yeah. Um, there's a lot more um, responsibility and a lot more um, pressure on the director, I find, than as an actor. Um, but it's it's been very rewarding and very fun. That's great. Uh, Brooke, what, how big is the cast for this play? <laughs> um, <laughs> you are in the play, right? I'd say, <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, I see it's a, a medium-sized cast. Yeah. Uh, we, we, something that's interesting about this play is that there are, aren't that many scenes, but in a few scenes is when most of the dialogue happens. Yeah. <laughs> so we have a lot of villagers and, um, people who are in the mob scenes, but the real main people, um, maybe five, five main main casts, yeah. okay. cast members. Okay. I think we have a total cast of about 15. Though. Yeah. Okay. A is it easy to direct a, a cast of that size? Because that seems like a pretty decent size. Um, it is and it isn't. It presents its own challenges having so many people. But um, because we're at the museum and we're outside, there's still so much space. We're not in a traditional stage, mm -hmm. so we're not limited to where I can put people and how I can have them move and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think given the circumstances, it's been fairly uh, equivalent. Okay. Uh, Brooke, is it difficult to get into a character like that? Um, in this case, definitely not. Something that's really unique about the McGonagall murders is that it it actually happened. These events mm -hmm. really did occur, and so we have all of this information about Julia and her life. Um, newspaper articles from from you know 1890 when the girls were murdered, and um, we have correspondence with Julia's um, her family now mm -hmm. telling us about what their life was like back then. And so having that knowledge, uh, that information has made it so much easier to get into character. Definitely helps, and uh, but not many showings for this. Either, Troy. No, it's only four nights. Mm -hmm. um, it's 
uh, Friday, Saturday of next week and the Friday, Saturday of the week after. Okay, so people need to get their tickets. Yes, definitely. We have a limit of, I believe, 70 people per night too, because we have to be able to fit them all inside one of the buildings. It's nice, it's intimate though, <laughs> and that's great. And of course, it's always taking place, uh, for the most part, your productions place at, take place at the Cumberland Heritage Village Museum. Yes. 2940 Old Montreal Road, Troy and Brooke, thank you very much for being here thank today. You. Thank you. Best of luck with Outrage, the McGonagall Murders. Mm -hmm. Uh, coming uh, beginning September 22nd. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. We've got more Daytime Ottawa coming up in moments. What is the Phoenix Business, business Exchange? We'll find out in uh, seconds.